anyway, I'm back, even though I never really left, I just stopped the recording. Uh, we're back with more Live Alive. Uh, I just finished the Wild West chapter. I'm gonna run right into the Mott Present Day chapter. Um, I'm gonna crack open a drink. After this, I'll take a short break, and then we'll move to a uh, near future, depending on how long this takes. This shouldn't take me past 1 a.m., and if that's the case, then I could do near future. I don't know if I could do it all in one night. I don't know. We'll see. Basically, the peak of the mountain, yeah. To be the world's strongest fighter, the best of the best, a dream shared by many, but one young warrior believes he truly has what it takes to claim the title. By making the skills of other masters his own, he intends to prove himself. Mai Tai, professional wrestling, lucha libre, copo, sambo, and sumo. The most powerful techniques of these story traditions he will learn. All he needs to do is to bait his opponents into revealing their secrets. Present day. Play this chapter. Yes, let's do it. Yeah! I don't really need to change the uh, stream info, do I? So this chapter is potentially very short. No the matter who they are, every fighter's got the same dream. To be the best of the best. Don't forget, I'm not reading that out loud, Ephraim. <laughs> I know that I know what that means. Whatever Ryu's style is, I don't think that's Ryu's style. <laughs> I don't think that's Ryu's style. I think that means something else. I thought that's you did it on why purpose. I decided to go on this journey. So the shot of this room. Put my skills to the test. The shot of this room in the initial release reveal trailer for this is when I realized it was live alive because I was like, I know that room to anywhere. The masters and make their techniques my own. But they're warriors too, walking the same path, striving for the same goal. Heirs to traditions and keepers of knowledge. City pop ahoy, yep. And like me, they probably got plenty of pride. They'll not give up their secrets without a fight. So I'll give them one. Push them to the limit and force them to use their techniques. And when they do, I'll be ready. I'll see everything. So yeah, stakes uh, in this chapter are clearly a little lower than the last cha couple chapters. Shotokan, ah, uh, got it. Until they throw the ones that count. Masaru Takahara, his full name. fight my way to the top, and the world will know my name. Masaru Takahara. They'll Gosh. know my name even though I can't say it out loud. Or maybe I'll fall short in the end. But hey, only one way to find out. Yeah! The strongest. Shabata Masaru Diamond. Diamond. All right, select our fighter. Uh, so we got Namkiat, the Great Aja. There's a bit of lag when it loads in here. Tulahan, Seishi Moribe, Max Morgan, and Jackie Iokia. I can't remember which one of these I did first in my playthrough. The, these are not easy. These are all boss level fights, and I'm doing them essentially with nothing. There is kind of a Mega Man-ish way of handling this. And I need to remember which one is weak against who. You also, the important thing is that you have to angle yourself so that the enemy will use their attack and then you learn it. And then you take him out. Ew. One second, sorry.
Sorry, just a moment. I have to do something outside my room for a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> loose fingernail uh, came off, and I needed to snip it really quick. I kind of bite my nails, which isn't a good a good habit. Bought these guys in Street Fighter. Punch the giant chicken, mega giant ultra chicken. <laughs> no, he is legend. I see guy on the sumo one there, Honda, the old man being running Ryu and Ken. I mean. Max Morgan is supposed to be Hulk Hogan, so there you go. Kulahan. A Tovarish of great superpower, this special forces operator trained relentlessly in the art of assassination and hand-to-hand -hand combat. He can render even the most powerful opponents helpless by striking at their joints and other weak points with deadly precision. Special techniques, arm lock, cross heel hold, Russia. Okay! Okay. God's defected. Fools and children fight with their fists. Come. I'll show you how civilized warriors make their opponents submit. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's unashamedly Street Fighter. This roster reminds me of Street Fighter Third Striker Alpha. In the present day chapter, Masaru Takahara can learn abilities during battle. When struck by certain enemy attacks, you'll immediately acquire and be able to use them. Bait your opponents into using their most powerful techniques and turn their power against them to become the world's best. This this chapter is not easy, and I started with this when I played the SNES version. Yell Strike. Punch an enemy with enough force to shatter 30 tiles. Rolling Wheel Kick. Disorient an enemy with a whirling kick to the head. Focus. Clear your head to restore a small amount of HP, remove all detrimental status effects, and harness your strength. Charge time short, so he can he has a self-heal. The interesting thing about this game, though, is that there's no level up uh, buff. Tsuyoko so, Shimomura worked on a parody of another game she worked on. Yes, exactly. Um, the interesting thing is the SNES version of this game actually had a level up and a level down buff, where your level would actually temporarily go up or down during battle, but it doesn't seem to be in the remake. They seem to just gone with um, the standard stats, which might make the game a bit easier as a result, because I don't think you can ever inflict uh, level down on an enemy. Level rolling... Okay, roll attack. Let's try it. <laughs> Easy! Focus now. We've only just begun. Yeah! Armlock learned. Attack reaction, grapple an enemy and limit their ability to execute martial techniques. Statuses, arm locked, damage low, resistant to his own move, of course. You're mine! Defense is full of holes. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, the heal's not great, but the fact that it gives you a ton of buffs gives you it gives you four buffs and it clears any detrimental status effect. Stunned. Shit. Low kick. Please defeat the sumo guy for me. I got beef with Honda, so get him. Of course. Gutsman and a chops attack here. 
If you intend to carry on like that, then I'll have to attempt. Okay, he can't attack from directly above here, so maybe getting him here will make him do his other move. <laughs> I underestimated you. No longer. I think I got, I've got him caught in like a cycle there. Oh, just regular arm lock. Oh, he just turned around. I was hoping you'd try that. Damn it. How do I get him to do the other move? Pattern got, I don't know, I can't remember. Cross heel hole, there we go. This will hurt. Ow! Ha, uh. oh, you fool! Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. You have just made me stronger. Grapple an enemy and limit their ability to execute agile techniques. Oh, I can't move. Alright, well, I can focus. Uh. Damn it! Yo, dead ass, keep doing stop doing that. Yeah. Huh. So predictable. Rolling wheel kick! Hey Celine, how you doing? Oh, I made him face me. That's not good. I take no choice. Okay, okay then. Bones. Nice. His own move can be countered. He used to counter. Cross heal. Grapple enemy and limit their ability to execute agile techniques. Yeah, sure. Let's try it. Didn't really work, but okay. Alright, that's one down. You... You outwitted me. Yeah! Oh, he doesn't level up either. This is another, like, you're already at max strength you level. You win! Even with my superior grappling technique, you outwitted me. Well done. You must defeat Shenlong to stand a chance, yes. Oh, can I pick- oh, I can pick the same fighter more than once. That's good. Hand wrap, simple but reliable protection for a fighter's hands. No, I, there's no, you can't even pick the item menu in this chapter, or the or the positioning. Seishi Moribe. Seishi Moribe. Who is Shenlong? Anyway, we haven't figured that out yet. No, no, well, it was a mistranslation. It was like, you must defeat the Dragon Punch to stand a chance, and they translated it as Shenlong. And then, um... Did they actually put a Shenlong character in Street Fighter, or am I mixing that up with something else? Japan. Special techniques. Fleet Foot Celestial Palm. Don't underestimate this practitioner of the ancient Japanese martial art of Kapo. Kopo, excuse me. He has rediscovered and perfectly mutt perfected much that was forgotten, such as the Celestial Palm, a deadly strike which could kill a fully armored man outright. Okay! Okay! You seek to become the strongest, and so the path you walk has led you to me. 
There's Gokin, who is the master of Ryu and Ken, and is more or less Shenlong in all but name. Got it. There are many arts, but there is only one Koppo. Defeat me, and we will speak of its secrets. See, I thought Ryu and Ken's master would be named Sho, because then it's Sho, Ryu, and Ken. The initial rumors inspired Akuma, that was right. That was what I was thinking of. That'd have been fun. We gotta kill old Ryu Jen here again. This is awkward looking because of the amount of squares there are here. So you don't really get range in this chapter. If I may. That's one of them, right? Ha! Damn it! Ooh, I didn't rub my heel. Yeah! Fleetfoot. Surprise an enemy with a sudden and disorienting kick. Damage, medium. EGM's rumors about an actual Shenlong went to the creation of Gokin and Akuma. Gokin himself is Capcom's answer to fan demands of a real and playable Shenlong. One hand clapping. Very well. Ow. There. Whoa! There's more to you than passion and ambition. Do the other move. What's the other move? <laughs> I gotta say, this is way easier, because the, the AI works differently than the original game. Sometimes they just don't attack you. The squares aren't topped with the UI. No, they aren't. It's kind of disorienting. One hand clap. <laughs> Legs. No, I... I... Uh-oh. I better focus. No, focus. <laughs> Careful with breaking his spine, he's still an old man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I still have a debuff. That heal wasn't enough to fully clear off the buff. Shit. I beat him already. A complete and total loss. The time has come for bold young fighters to lead martial arts into a new era. Go home and be a family man, yeah. Does he have a Mega Man approach to where he takes up his opponent's moves? Yes. Around Korea. Jackie Iokia. Jackie Iokia. I don't know why I say the names when the game does it for me. Forber, Forber, Forber. USA, special techniques, Aloha Slap and Mono Toss. And Sumo, where the most mighty and physically dominant athletes vie for supremacy. This Hawaiian wrestler has, was hailed as a once-in-a-generation talent. After failing to achieve his lifelong dream of becoming a Yokozuna, however, he renounced the sport and resolved instead to conquer the mixed martial arts world. Okay. Okay. Oh. Looking for a fight? Ha! Bring it on! I've never lost to a man of Japan! And if you think a sumo's all brawn and no finesse, you're in for a wake-up call! I'll teach you the fighting style of the ancient Hawaiians, yeah? Tito. <laughs> Ancient Hawaiians say kill your parents, which is not really that funny because 
That would never be taught by Hawaiians. Don't kill your parents ever. Okay. Yeah, these fights are definitely easier than they were in uh, the original game, but that also means it's harder to run the techniques. Okay, got Mono Toss. You want to piss off? Damn it! Yeah. Action reaction. Crawl an enemy into the air and send them flying. Damage medium. The other one. Damn it! You won't want this off. They really want you to. They really want you to uh, get the techniques in this game, but not knowing how they come out is, uh, is another thing. Seize. Ow! Damn it. That actually hurt more than anything else. Get poor perfect since Odo up here. <laughs> Get up to him and keep heal heal this healing until he uses it. Why well, is a person with formal clothes on the beach? Essentially, just hold off until he uses it. I like your style! The other one. Uh, it's luck based, isn't it? Which means I'm never seeing it. There we go, Aloha Slap. Aloha! Attack. Slap an enemy with the force of a hurricane and send them flying. I need to focus first.
won't block this off! So predictable! We're not done yet, unfortunately. We have a bit more to go here. Damn it! That fact reminds me of the DBZ8 movie. movie. <laughs> oh, the cr the cracking bone noise? Yeah, it kind of does. The Aloha Whoa. slap. Uh, oh, right. What'd you just do? World Breaker's Wrath. You're gonna get it now! Yeah. World Breaker's Wrath learned. Jackie's about to do it. Hey, Rofi, how you doing? And Piccolo and Goku tried doing the same thing with you. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, he can't move right now, so I could do this. World Breaker's Wrath. Strike the Earth with unbridled rage to bring a barrage of boulders down upon enemies. Charge time medium, damage massive. The game does not tell you about that move. You just have to know it's there, and you have to disable his arms and legs to get him to do it. Aloha! Yeah, it does sound like that. It does have that same sound effect. You're done! This is the chapter's ultimate move. It does sound like that, you're right. Essentially, this move is the equivalent of the level 16 move that other characters get if you could grind. You win! Oh boy, that's Steve. But you got me. Put on a little weight, and you might have a shot at making Yokozuna! Ha ha ha! Who didn't give me their full ability? Moribe. He didn't give me Celestial Pond. He gave me Fleet Foot, I believe. So do you need to learn Seize? No, that's not a special move. Yeah, I have Fleet Foot. I don't have Celestial Pond. Be diagonal from him. Okay. Seishi Moribe. Okay. I'm going to redo this fight. You see Sushi If I may. There it is. Wow. No time at all to learn that. I mean, I heard the food is good for sumos, yeah. I mean, you kind of have to be. Kind of has to be. 
Look how many counters I have. Striking enemies' pressure points and weaken them in all aspects. Lowers every stat. Damage medium. No charge time either. Not gonna break his spine, yeah. <laughs> Especially at home. Don't That's worry, Masar will learn EDF on his own done. at level 16. Does he actually learn yeah. at level 16 on his own? A complete it just helps a lot to have it now. Loss. Actually, it's midnight now, so I'm gonna crack open my, uh, uh my Red Bull. My 12-ounce, uh, the Yellow Edition Red Bull, tropical, artificially flavored. Uh, taste of tropical fruits. Okay. Cool. Been holding on to this for a week. Almost. It does have a tropical tang to it, but it's mostly just Red Bull. Whether or not that's a draw for you... Yeah. Depends. Thailand, special techniques. Look Panjama Kick. Spiral Knee. Blessed with surpassing agility and flexibility. This young man trained day and night that he may transform his body into the perfect weapon and become a Mai Tai champion. Those who have faced him in the ring often speak of his divine right foot, which he can deliver a blindingly fast knockout blow. Okay! With which, excuse me. You must be tired, having come all the way from Japan. Don't worry, I'll end it quick. You won't even have a chance to lay a finger on me. Okay, cool. Only a select few get enemies to me. Yeah. That's actually a pretty hard-hitting move there. Charge an enemy and deliver a flying knee to the face. Damage medium, directional. Wait, why is it directional? It can't go more than one, two squares. So if there's an enemy between me and the other person, I can't do it? No, Red Bull was originally tied. The bottle looks more like you get from NyQuil from and they don't... Look what you get from NyQuil, and they don't add the metallic-tasting taurine to it, yeah. That's interesting. That kind of- wow, that's a very weird coincidence that I tap a new- huh. I happen to open that now. Panjama kick. Nice. I'm pretty sure I didn't get anywhere near all the moves when I did this on the SNES version. Attack reaction. Leap into the air and knock an enemy back with a spinning kick. Damage low, hits three. That's pretty good. A lot of counters in these, which means that my counter options just get better and better. Amazing. I didn't even know about that move the first time I played uh, this game. Down for the count. You 
win. My face, my beautiful face. Very well, you've won this one. Time for legally distinct Hulk Hogan. Max Morgan! USA, special techniques, Max Bomber, German suplex. The unquestioned king of American professional wrestling has since leveraged his fame to become a Hollywood star. However, he has resumed his training with a renewed passion after learning of Masar Masaru Takahara's ambition to become the world's top fighter. Knows the German suplex and the Max Bomber. I'll clarify everything to Richard League and definitely makes it easier to play than the original. Yes. This chapter in general is just way easier. Probably because I could see the enemy's charge. Like, the fact that you could see the enemy's charge bars now make it so much easier. Okay! Okay, brother! Let's do this! Max Morgan's gonna take you for a ride on the pain train! First class! It's Bulk Bogan. Loke Logan. There we go. One celestial palm a few times. Also, Musos, yes. Also, this fight is an Easter egg. We want we want Max to get over here in the corner. This one's for the people. Max Bomber. Ever see a Max Bomber up Ooh. close? Max Bomber, spin with outstretched arms to send enemies reeling. Damage medium. I thought the Easter egg was an Aegis fight. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe you're right. One. I thought it was in Max War. You know what? It probably is because Max Morgan probably wouldn't leave the ring to do what I'm thinking of. Thinking of. There we go. German suplex. Crush. Attack. Drive an enemy into the ground and knock the wind out of them. Stuns and, and does high damage. Nice. I remember not being able to get the Easter egg originally, and I had to look it up after I beat it. Look the pangemic egg. This is tournament legal. Oh, it's res he's resistant though. Yeah, whatever. You're done. Ah! Still did a hundred damage. Let's give the crowd something to remember. Gonna finish you off in style. <laughs> ah! <laughs> nice one. Okay, you ready to do this for real? Down. But lowered all stats. Oh shit. He mad, yeah. 
What is he weak to? Um, wind. Okay, so Alola Slap. Alola? You can tell I, I miss Pokemon. Aloha Slap. The Broly Slap. It knocks him away, too, which is really nice. He won't be able to get close enough to attack. Hell yeah! You win! Gotta hand it to you, kid. That was a Max Morgan level performance. Maybe even better. Very catchy game. Kitchy? Catchy. Kutchy kutchy. Like they do in Egypt. My fists have your blood on them. Permanently level two. The great Aja. The great Aja. Hmm. Mexico. Special techniques. Frankensteiner and Tornado Press. This famed Japanese wrestler mastered the moves of the legendary luchador heel El Rudo. While his skills are impressive, his willingness to bend the rules and maim his opponents have led some to call him the Angel of Death. Yeah. Okay! This is the one that has the little Easter egg in it. Well, if it isn't the mother himself! Masaru Takahara! Wanna learn a trick or two? Alright, I'll teach you how it feels to get your ass beat by the best! I gotta say, this localization really stepped it up compared to the fan translation. Most of this has been better than the original SNES translation. You poison me, oh man. It's censored, so it kind of works. Yeah, it just makes it more funny. It is funny to think that Nintendo published this, and there's like so much. <laughs> the, the, the level of lewd language in this is kind of off the charts. Tornado press, there we go. Is that it? Oh, I missed, though. Oh, I didn't learn it, because he missed. That sucks. Took damage, though, which is nice. Maybe the arrow's evasion. That's what it is. There we go. Tornado press learned. Leap high into the air and crush an enemy with the weight of your whole body, but don't miss! Damage medium. Uh, and the other move is uh, Frankensteiner, which if I get up close to him, he'll be able to teach me. <laughs> I'm through playing games with you! There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Damn it! Ooh, uh oh. Yeah! Frankensteiner learned. Counter arm lock. <laughs> Frankensteiner, backflip onto the enemy's shoulders and drive their head into the ground, but don't miss. Causes um, dizziness and lowers two stats, also does high damage. Cool. We're gonna focus. <laughs> Gonna get the funny moment. Gonna try that. I got all the moves now, which is good. 
It's almost over now! Alright, I have to get him... Have, where do I have to position him? I have to position him at the bottom right, right? Attack went down for that. So, okay. So this ties into what happened before. Remember right before I fought, um... I fought Odeo last chapter? There was that father and his kid. And the father got shot right outside of town. Um, so every chapter has a character or, or something resembling a character named Watanabe or Watanabe. And every chapter, the father will die, and the son will always be like... The son will always cry and, like, drag his body away. And this, it's all off-screen. But yeah, it, do it does actually happen in the other chapters as well. Um, I forget where it is in the first three, but if I remember, I'll show them off. I know where it is in the ninja chapter, it just didn't happen because I never went into the room where, uh, where the characters get killed. But every chapter has, has a reference like that. It's kind of a, like a, a more... yeah, the ill-fated father and son. Watanabe. Anyway, I got my, I gotta, I gotta attack the buff for that. There we go. Anyway. You're done. Everyone's weakness. Ridiculous how strong this guy's for you level win. two. Well, shit. The punk actually took me down. Forced save. Jackie Ukea, best teacher, yeah. You know, a card game where beating your opponent has them go, well, sh shit. <laughs> Krauser? Nah. Also, it's the only, only the second time we've heard this song so far. We heard it in prehistory. Mercy will be your undoing. Masaharu Takarahara Takuba. Uh, yeah, this is only the second time we've heard this theme. I thought this theme was used in every chapter, and it should be, because it's kind of the running theme of the villain. Anyway, here he is. The so-called masters you defeated, whose techniques you made your own in your quest to become the very best. You left them alive, and so others were free to follow in your wake. What do you think that's implying? I, on the other hand, ensured my victories were complete. There you go. Without exception, Namkiat, <laughs> the naive brat, that gaudy luchador, the great Aja, simple-minded Han, Jackie, still dreaming of a squandered youth, Max, who was never more than a mere showman. And of course, that doddering fraud Moribe, each late 
dead at my feet when I was finished. Yep, he just murdered everyone we fought. For true triumph is found only in death, in the extinguishing of a life and its legacy. You glory in nothing. <laughs> And who am I, you ask? I am that which you yearn to become. The greatest warrior. Want to guess what his name is? Odie O'Bright! You. You son of a bitch. A warrior. Like hell you are. Odie O'Brien. <laughs> nice name, nerd. Well, to be fair, I like it more. It sounds better. That just sounded so stupid. It sounds... It's better than the fan translation. The fan tra translation, his name is Odie Oldbright, which kind of ruins the... Which kind of, like... It makes the end of the pun kind of less effective. I kind of like the... I kind of like the, the... The Irishification of his last name to make it, uh... To make it more obvious... You're nothing but a cold-blooded murderer! The game's not meant to be taken too seriously. With Namkiat speed, the great Aja's acrobatics, Hans Guile, Jackie's strength. Hans Guile? Haha. <laughs> Max's determination, Moribe's wisdom. That's so good, that's so great. That's such a great piece of writing right there. And with Hans my Guile. own... Righteous Fury! I will end you! They gotta put a spin You're on it each chapter. That would've been cool. You'll join your comrades soon enough. Actually, before I do this legitimately... <laughs> first off, standing diagonally to him is not good. He has a move that hits diagonally, that's not great. Not too bad! Still with me? I want to show what getting a game Excellent. over in this chapter looks like because it's actually pretty unique. It's gonna, it might take a while because this is so much easier than the previous game. Pretty good though. We'll be finished with this chapter before 1230. That'll give me more than enough time to go to the near future. Near future? No, near future's a long one. That's why I started the stream so early, because I need like a full stream to do that. So so strong. I am the strongest now and forever. Only in death can we find strength and glory everlasting. Come. Let me show you. You're not a warrior, you're a beginner. Nine. <laughs> eight. Yeah, seven, if you lose to the other guys, the same a similar six, things hap happens where you get a game five, over count. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. It's literally yeah. It's 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 right down to the right down to the game over. It's a it's a fighting game, a street fighter. If you let it run out, you do get a game over screen. But again, all the little touches, like even the original version of this game had that in there too. So like all the little touches are just really great. You'll join your comrades soon enough. I do feel like the characters are just stronger in this game, in this version in general, like. I remember getting my ass kicked way faster. I'll make you proud, Moribe. I, o Odie took me forever in the original version. Because he would just, like, wreck me in a couple moves. There we go. Debuff. Hey! 
Pay attention now! I got very salty. Yes, I did. I got extremely salty. That and the prehistory chapter in the original were like the two times I got really upset at this game. Rush. Still with me? Excellent! <laughs> You're done! I'll break your scrap! Good! We've taken each other's measure! Now the real fight begins! Ha! Is he weak? What's he? Oh, he has no weaknesses or resistances. Uh, can, what do I have that can? Yeah, actually, German suplex might be right. It might interrupt him. Only oh, this thing is this is the super meter. <laughs> Didn't interrupt, unfortunately. Diving Don't you DDO. Dare uh oh. Die on me. Not yet. <laughs> Not too bad. Pay attention now. His own EBH, yeah. Only could learn that move. Uh-oh, now we gotta counter that. We gotta Celestial Palm that right out of him. EBH is better though, no self-debuff, man. when this is over. healing. Accuracy, I guess that's evasion. That it? Accuracy, evasion, attack, and special attack, I guess is the other one. Feel 
show my righteous fury! Good! One more. Pay attention now! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> this might do him. Yep, countered him. Is this my blood? Just begun, boy. This ambition of yours. One, one after another, without end. Others will come to take your head and your crown. You stand in judgment with bloodied hands yeah, yeah, yeah. and will again. As well you should. It is your nature. <laughs> How long until the next? <laughs> Rules of nature! I wonder. Womp. Notice how they all have that red mist coming out of them when they die. And get dunked on, Odie. Masaru Takahara. It's you, isn't it? The greatest warrior. Is that Wario? Which means that when I've beaten you, I'll be the best of the best. And that's an Italian accent right there. Is he smirking? Oh, nice. Find a... Yo, you just kill that guy? Yeah, whatever. It's code red do. Yeah. <laughs> the mist. It's his Red Bull. Red blood. Nice, we made very good progress. Three hours, oh, less than three hours into the stream, and I finished these two chapters. I feel Garfield should buy a life insurance or something. Why Garfield? Because of all the lasagna he eats? Sean, make me some lasagna, you fuck. Mm. It's me, Chris Pratt. I'm I'm Garfield. I'm not doing the voice. I'm just gonna voice be myself. And and however that goes, people will flock because it's me in this movie. Because the dog is called Odie, oh. I don't think I've heard anyone make that joke before about the, do the dog being named Odie in reference to this game. I've had people make the, the, the JoJo reference because of Dio. Odie Arbuckle. Wait a minute, does Max Morgan not have a mustache in his profile picture, but he has one on the sprite? That's really weird. Just noticed that. Is that working a pun with Odin? Perhaps. 
I'm not really the good, the best uh, judge. Odie Albright's Japanese voice actor's named Banjo. Music compose. No, it's not composer. It's music compose. We had Legacy Preserved, Winner, On the Road Again, Mission Accomplished for the, for the Ninja One. Legacy Preserved is still the funniest one. <laughs> it's the funniest ending message. Chapter data has been completed. Yeah! I Yeah. Was that actually like an ending card, though? I can't remember. Additional songs have been added to the jukebox. Additional entries have been added to gameplay tips. The complete level 2. Meanwhile, Pogo is level 16. <laughs> In progress. I will go back to that. Uh, I want to see what gameplay tips they actually have for modern day. It seems like there wouldn't be a whole lot there outside of just learning new moves. Oh, it has actually one for all of them. Oh, it's just, it's just their, uh, it's just their thing. Alright, cool. Okay, so that's two down tonight. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do the near future. Um, but I am going to stop recording, because I want to do separate parts. And also, I have to go to the bathroom. So please, enjoy this, uh, this BRB that Nessie made me. That, I, that she showed off last Saturday during the stream. Uh, and I will be back in a few minutes.